Hi and welcome back. Today, Sam and I are coming to you from a hotel room. And no, we are not on vacation, I wish. I talked about in a recent video how we actually came back from vacation to a flooded apartment. Of course, we cleaned everything up and lived in our apartment for a couple more days. In those couple of days, the apartment flooded seven more times. So unfortunately, we had to move out. There's quite a bit of damage that needs to be repaired. And it looks like for the next who knows how long, I will be talking to you from either this hotel room or a different one. So I hope everything is okay. I hope the lighting is okay. I hope the sound is okay. I don't have my lights. I don't have a microphone. I just have my iPhone popped up on a box of protein bars. So again, I hope everything is okay. If not, please let me know down below. I can get some lights as well as a microphone. Anyways, if you've been here for a little while, you have probably heard me talk about NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, a molecule which can be found in every cell of our body, a quite important molecule, which is responsible for countless metabolic functions. Unfortunately, as we age, as with so many things, NAD declines which is not ideal. You probably also have heard me talk about NAD precursors, such as NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NR, nicotinamide riposide. Both NMN and NR are forms of vitamin B3, niacinamide, which are precursors to this very important molecule, NAD. And many of us like to take NAD precursors to feel more oomph. However, in today's video, we're talking about a compound found in many plants, which may actually help to prevent this age-related decline of NAD in the first place. So again, NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, is a critical coenzyme found in every cell in our body. It is so critical that without it, we would be dead within 30 seconds. So it is quite important. And when we are younger, NAD is really abundant. However, by age 50, we only have about 50% of our NAD levels. Now, one of the reasons, and probably the biggest reason, why NAD declines as we age is that simultaneously, as NAD declines, a glycoprotein, as well as multifunctional enzyme called CD38, increases. CD38 again is a multifunctional enzyme and it is the main enzyme that breaks down or degrades NMN which would otherwise turn into NAD. So as we age NAD declines and CD38 increases. But why does CD38 which by the way stands for cluster of differentiation 38 why does CD38 even get produced at such large quantities as we age? One reason is that CD38 is secreted by senescent cells. I've talked about senescent cells quite a bit on this channel. I will link some videos down below. Senescent cells are also known as zombie cells. They are cells that stop dividing but don't die. Now senescence is something that happens even when we are younger. But as we age, senescence increases and we accumulate these senescent cells in our body. Unfortunately, senescent cells secrete inflammatory cytokines. So one way to inhibit the production of CD38 and with that, the decline in NAD is to take synolytic compounds such as fisetin to clear out senescent cells. On top of clearing out these senescent cells, we can also use compounds which can be found in many plants such as epigenin as well as quercetin. Both epigenin and quercetin have shown in studies to inhibit CD38 production which translated to higher NAD levels. And as you can see on this study done on mice, inhibiting CD38 and with that raising NAD levels led to increased lifespan as well as health span. 
Now, I have already talked about quercetin quite a bit on this channel. I will link some videos down below. So let's talk about abogenin. Abogenin is a polyphenol, a compound found in plants. And it is mostly found in chamomile as well as parsley, but it can also be found in red wine, beer, artichokes, celery, and oregano. And studies show that using these herbs in dried form contains the highest amount of abogenin. So for example, one gram of dried parsley contains about 45 milligrams of abogenin versus 100 grams of fresh parsley contains about 220 milligrams of abogenin. So using dried parsley, dried chamomile in our diet on a regular basis can be quite helpful to help inhibit CD38 production and with that keep our NAD levels nice and high. Now since most of these studies have been done on rodents, we don't quite know how much epigenin is required for humans to inhibit CD38 production. And by the way, we don't want to block CD38 production. That can lead to a whole host of other problems. We just want to inhibit it. So we speculate that for humans, it takes anywhere from 3 to 10 milligrams per kilogram of epigenin to inhibit CD38 production. So for me, that would be anywhere from 180 to 600 milligrams of abogenin. And that's a lot of dried parsley, which is why I decided to, on top of using dried parsley and dried chamomile, to also use a supplement. So I take this right here by Do Not Age, and it is the pure abogenin. These are 250 milligram capsules, and I take two of these a day. Now, I decided to take an abogenin supplement because abogenin also has other benefits aside from helping to inhibit CD38 production and with that, the age-related decline in NAD. But abogenin also possesses anti-inflammatory as well as antioxidant properties and we can never get enough of those. And it is also said to be neuroprotective as well as cognition enhancing with the potential to prevent and treat Alzheimer's. In fact, in rodent models of Alzheimer's disease, use of epigenin resulted in improved learning and memory, as well as increased antioxidant activity. And lastly, epigenin can help induce muscle relaxation and even sedation, depending on the dose. So because of epigenin's benefits, I decided, as I mentioned, to include abogenin as a supplement in my diet on top of using some dried herbs. I take two of these a day, which comes out to 500 milligrams. I also still take my NMN. I don't ever want to be without NMN, but combined NMN and abogenin, I am hoping to keep my NAD levels nice and high. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments. You know, I always love to hear from you and I would love to know, do you take abogenin or dried herbs which contain abogenin? If so, have you noticed any benefits? And also, as I mentioned, please let me know if the sound and lighting are okay, because unfortunately I will be here probably for quite a while. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Until next time. Bye.